can't remember, can't distinguish it from, you know, like I don't know specifically. Oh uh, yeah, yeah it is. I'm activating our latest F eight hundred. This one's this one feels wrong. Like it should have been one of the later, like earlier Because it's like I've, I've already been to Area Forty. Like this should have been before the Area Forty two levels. Like this, this seems weirdly. Um, <laughs> Inconsistent with the levels that I've done before, like maybe, maybe before I even went to the broadcast tower, possibly just a bit before or something. Remember when the area of 51 was a meme? When you said the, the other area with different numbers? Yeah, area. Yeah, yeah, that's that was the whole idea of area 42 to be a part of area 52. Because in this game it's area 52, and I mean, it's always sort of been a meme, Ash, like area 42, about 52, and it's always had shows and references, like, you know, like, uh, 2005 when the game was released. But, um, as you know, like, recently there was the area 52 raids of, of the great 2019 ones. If I'm not going with Oh wow. But yeah, that, that's. Really? Um, there was jokes in the first game for Area 52. Um, Ten seconds. But yeah. It's not. Uh, they couldn't have. Uh, I mean, they could have added like an Easter egg or something. Uh, for I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't add any Easter eggs like, into the new game for like, you know, more money things like that happened since the release of the game. Because like, Area 52 for instance, you know, like, it's like a very easily it's so like, any jokes into, um, since it, you know, since it's released, that would be more contextually, like, because, you know, how other reviewers were like, but yeah, this isn't how to touch, like, how old game, you know, like, all the jokes are dated, and it's like, well, that was funny, like, at least a, a joke that's not entirely dated, and that was any of the dates so quickly, it's like, within the week, a joke will be considered old and dated, so, you know. I just kind of dismiss it out, so, but yeah. It's hurting. You want a piece of me? Oh. 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 It's like one of the first levels that should have occurred when you get to like city buildings. <laughs> this level. It feels like the first level of the game is straight from buildings. You should have done something. You can like survey the area and shit. It's a good story. It seems to me that you tackle the military and you can totally bring down the military. This level, you know. Um, the game, the original game, right, that was um, made in 2005, apparently was in development all the way back in 1999, meaning they had six years to develop the game, and I, a lot of the development was um, done on the first half of the game, you know, like the, um, the first three levels they spent a while on. But like all the footage I saw was like 2003 to 2004, which would be like, you know, two years that I spent on the game, which would make more sense considering like the, the, the sequel game that everyone considers like better. I mean, I would personally say way better, but you know, like a lot of people would just say uh, it's just better, not like way better. But anyway, um, that was all done in one year development time. So it's like, it's not like they couldn't achieve a lot of um, progress in Here's a frightening new weapon for your but, saucer. The quantum deconstructor. Yeah, um, 
It has a blast wave that destroys Ooh, everything. Try it out on the commercial buildings like of Santa Modesta. I've had that one to, to work on a game. But I don't know. I feel like a lot, like some of the later levels were kind of like rushed out when they maybe go into the studio. Because they got a polisher later down the road. As we're starting a project, it was like a couple of guys, and then they expanded their team like near near 2004 or something. And like, bro, I mean, we've got a bigger team, you know, we can, we can do like a lot more levels to um, expand on our idea. And then they were just kind of pumping them out, and that's probably where the repetition and later levels comes from and shit. I feel like that's, you know, a bit of what's going on, or went on, I should say. You should say? Yeah. I'm talking too long for you, ain't I? I know you're like, getting bored and not listening to the song. <laughs> no, I listen, you baka. Uh, okay. Don't so, worry. You know, I get on my tangent, so... They do have some funny, like, oh, da, 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 voices like that. Oh, the electrocution voice? Yeah, they did. But it's like, that one specifically is like, why wouldn't they re record? Because, like, the electric voice, that does sound like we're getting electrocuted. But it's like, that one, once, 14 years ago. <sighs> and it definitely does hit me with nostalgia, but it's like, there's a lot, like, a lot of gaps in my memory. Which is kind of good because you know, like it's it's very different to compare it to the original and like everything that isn't exactly like the original. Then you're like, fuck, why is that like? You know, when you start you start seeing it as like a terrible thing, comparing it, and I just don't like to do that. I prefer to just. I don't really it. like to like do that either. I just going by memory. Yeah. I actually know how to play some games by memory. When I played Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire when I got remade, I actually know how to like play that pretty well. Because I played it once when I was younger. I mean, for me, whenever I play Pokemon, I'm just tapping to like win. Oh, so. <laughs> thank you, great frontal lobes, but. You have to wait, you don't have to tap A. Some kind of primitive laboratory, a, a cage, and humans oh, yeah, the are being held against my will. They're not in the front way. Uh, oh, no, they touched me. I feel so dirty. Okay, okay, that's it. I'm getting out of here now. But yeah, this, um... This level was an interesting one. I was like, what the fuck? They captured me when I played this. But yeah, it's like, it's just another boring stuff. Like, it, it has a unique idea to it that I like, but apart from that, it's just like, it's just a boring fucking stealth level. Like, if you take out the, the unique gimmick of like humans captured you, you know, but suddenly it's like, Look at these people. I'm very we used pathetic. to this point. Well, so, yeah. Of course you know, you, I'm alive. Of it takes a lot more than awesome. a massive like, head trauma to keep me down. One by one. Which I don't know why it reverted me back to what I know. Oh yeah, just for the cutscene, yeah. Where the cutscene I see. Mm. I mean, they do change cutscenes over time, too. No, but which is pretty interesting. Oh, but you know what's pretty interesting? I think it's good they bring back like older games, you know? That's a remaster or remake because it will bring like new fans to the series, you know what I mean? 
I mean, this is pretty interesting to watch you play. Marilyn, Marilyn, Marilyn. Oh, damn, I better not forget Ma that last word, or they'll never let me yeah. on that barge. Like Marilyn Monroe, there is a trope for that game. Because if you didn't know, it's apparently using a marine barge. Well, I mean, it is fake. Marilyn is actually fake here. So somehow I need to get another military disguise. Can I fucking scan you? Whoa, whoa. Oh, fuck me. Spaceman! Out of the way! Spaceman. Uh, yeah, that, that means I'm fucked. Ah, oh my That's more like fuck. No. Man. Just completely fucked. 
Alright. Don't ask me. Sorry, I recovered. Works That's me. fine. Thank God. Because it's really stressful when someone spots you. It's just fishing. What the fuck? Oh, okay, I actually <laughs> have got string for a second now. I thought that was just a rod. I ain't taking you nowhere without proper authorization. Don't, do you recognize that voice? Tell me you recognize that voice. Tell me you recognize the, the voice of the, um, the barge. Uh, uh, I won't say driver, but barge, um... I had to, um, like, listen to it more. Right. It's such an iconic one. Will you take me to the island now? Oh, yeah, that sounds no, no, familiar. No, no. Now you're talking. This one. Welcome yeah. aboard, soldier. In the orange. Yep, he sounds so familiar. Very familiar. You don't know, though? I don't... Like, he sounds familiar, but, like, I don't know the He's name Wolverine, of the actor. Steve Blum. He's Steve Blum, oh. baby. I, 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 I don't really. Come on. Man. He's been in a but, lot but, of but other stuff. Like, he's been in. A, he does a lot of characters, but he's so also been mind. in um, be Cowboy Bebop as well. You know, like, and I think it was in Naruto or something, but he's, he's been in like a fuck ton of cartoons. He's, he does that voice that you can hear. That might yeah. be why, because I watch a lot of cartoons. I watch a lot more cartoons than I do yeah. live action movies. So. Steve Blum is a voice actor. He doesn't do live action. He does. He does cartoon. He's cartoon. He's a voice of cartoon. Okay. Every, every Wolverine. It's just like yeah. Every cartoon. Oh. Uh, okay, cartoon Wolverine. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And his his Wolverine voice is done. Is like one of those ones that's in like a lot of his characters like as soon as you hear it, it's one of those voices that's like that is Steve ship. Blum you, you must know like find he a way just to makes it. Wolverine you know you know how you just hear like Billy's voice for instance God, like that's good. Billy scratch that I you know? look real good yeah but I haven't seen the Marvel cartoon so I wouldn't know <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm just here to range. Fuming. Just oh, you haven't watched. Oh. I hear you raging in the background. Eh. Hey. Dead right, be fucking raging. Yeah, he just. Yeah, hey, he's just acting <laughs> up. Just no, I would actually be fucking fuming. Yeah, you for not watching. How could you not? Not X Men, Wolverine and the X Men, or the nineties X Men, or what the fuck? No, about, I've never what seen about any. Hulk versus Wolverine versus Thor. What the? No. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Something's wrong with this ship. I can't take off. The great. humans have removed the power cells from but, the ship's engine but, core. But, 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 but. I've detected no the radiation <laughs> signature of the energy cells coming from a human marine transport vessel. But I watch a lot of like weird shit back in the day and now, so yeah. yeah. I'm sh I'm sure you definitely do. Like, there's a lot of weird shows and cartoons out there, so I'm not even surprised. Like, I've watched my fair share of weird shit too, but it's like, come on. Wolverine and the X-Men is uh, great. I'm actually super yeah. bummed they caught it season two in or something. It's like, why? Why'd they have to cut it, man? They it's, actually got season two. Like, yeah, they got, they got, like, they cut season two, so they just got the, the um, like they had their own unique story, which was connected to like iconic Wolverine stories, right? Like the um, the uh, like the centuries arc, right? Which is a very long arc in their story, and it was done just so well in that um series. But um, they, they also sort of fused the Phoenix saga into that. Um, 
which, which was done really well in a way that's like the Phoenix just completely wiped out the X-Men and because the X-Men wiped themselves out in a way because of that, you know, there was the throw of, um, so, like you didn't even know it was a Phoenix for most of the series, but yeah, anyway. After they got rid of the Sentinel problem in Season 1, the new threat for Season 2 was Xavier talking to them from the past through the, um, the Cerebro, if you remember the Cerebro. Because Xavier, the story of X, Wolverine, the X-Men, starts with Xavier's fucking dead. But, and so Wolverine has to reform the X-Men. And so every couple of episodes, Wolverine would get a new X-Men join. So it's kind of like, Every episode or so, that would be a dedicated episode to that X Men mutant. It, it was really nice way to like introduce people to X Men because of that episode structure. Um, but yeah, by by season two, there was um, the idea was like they were gonna um, the Age of Apocalypse was coming, so the future was not fucked this time because originally um xavier was talking to them through the cerebro from the future um from a future self that was like a doomed future and it was that the the uh, sentinels were going to kill off all the mutants but the once they fixed the sentinel problem because they fixed all that in season one was done the new problem was that there was the mutant uprising from apocalypse that would light up everyone out and the problem and so that was really way more interesting because like big robots aren't nearly as compelling enemy to me as like a super powered villain but it's just like boring humans and shit so I'm like fuck yeah an actual villain you know it's like hella compelling like Apocalypse one of my favourite X-Men villains and then it's just like nah it's all cut it's all lax. It's like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? Just before one of my favorite X-Men stories. But yeah, it was a real bummer. People hate it. How cute to that? I was tracking uh, so, all yeah, in hopes of okay. discovering his secret base. So it was like a psychedelic kind of... To a civilian facility known as the White it was ugly. To meet with his uh, leader, yeah, yeah, I the hate, president. I hate when they intentionally try to be I ugly. Knew it. Lead okay, so this because I'm like, like to the part where I yes. the part finish what you were saying. Because it had like bad, ugly colors. But I like the voice acting though, but I just don't like the cartoon though. The reason why I like the voice acting because one of the characters was voiced by the regular show creator. One of the characters. It's most unlikely Armquist will reappear after all this commotion. I should just vaporize you where you stand. So yeah, what you're about to say? Yeah. Um shit, I forgot. Oh yeah. I watched this um anime, like not not an anime, but like a YouTuber talking about an anime. And it was like that he was talking about how it looks ugly or something. And he was actually talking in defense of it, of course, this is just a YouTuber, but like, a lot of people were referred to this anime as ugly. And I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck are you talking about? It looks pretty, like, it looks really good. I mean, I know, I know, like, for nowadays, it's not really anything impressive. But if you compare it to, like, 90s cartoons and anime, for instance, to that, it's like, that looks incredibly like clean. And it's, it's not really smooth, like it does try to have that rough, like sharp, pointy bits, but it's like it doesn't actually look rough like someone's, you know, like an amateur or they're doing a sketchy kind of like um edit and eddy okay, kind of sketchy animation like style to it or something. Stodgy, you know, someone that's trying to make uh, like, no, no, it actually like one of looks those? really good. But like, it looked really good and I'm just like the, the fuck do you mean this looks bad? Like, I'm just, just thinking back to all the shitty animations, you know, like Angel Anaconda or something. It's like this is fucking heaps good. What the fuck are you talking about? It's like a quality animation. Oh, well, I mean, there are bad animations out there. But yeah, Angela, Anaconda. 
That's like, pretty bad. I know, for instance, if you go from One Punch Man season one to season two, it's like, yeah, there's a clear drop off, and it's fucking. This is infuriating not seeing like the the action punch happening. Like in fights, it just skips the actual delivery of the punch in the fight. Like, it already annoys me in anime that you generally don't get to see the background or environment during a fight scene. It's just like, everything German. doesn't matter. They've got like an infinite space during the fight scene they get back to the real world, the environment. But like, there is like, in season two, it was still incredible animation, like, really good animation. But it's like, just because it's not like the best animation period like season one was people were like oh my god this is fucking shit you know but it's like they 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 have something to compare it to now they have higher quality that they kind of expect and they're like all right that's you know like they they hold that bar to hold that anime to or that animation or whatever which is like People nowadays, their standard for favorite animation is just so high. Mm. I mean, I, I can see myself to be pretty picky myself, like but it's like, <laughs> I don't, I don't mm. even, I wouldn't even say I'm I'm not sure about myself, you know? Well, I mean, when it comes to animation, I actually look at, like, how they do, you know, the backgrounds, how they do the people, how they do the characters, you know? Do you, um, for instance, do you know how to, like, tell 2D from 3D animation when you see it? Because I remember when I was able to, like, when I watched enough of it, and I'm like, I can tell if this is 3D trying to simulate 2D animation. Because a lot of people, like, even though they shit on 3D animation, they can't actually tell when they're just using a 3D, like a shot of 3D animation to, um, I some other to make things tell. easier and stylize in a 2D style. And because like a lot of people I... look at that and they're like, no, nah, I can't actually tell. Even though it's like it's I can 3D, tell. but it's like done in a 2D style. Because like that is actually really hard to tell at times. One of the things I, I mean, some is animations look... kind of do look 3D. And some kind of look CGI, I can tell. Because there's some movies like that uh, out there, I guess. But if they're not if they're not going for the dull look, look though, like if, if the 3D is going for pathetic. like a distinctly us, like toast. a 2D look, like a flat fucking drawn look, can you still tell if it's 3D? Do you have that skill? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure yet. I have to see for myself some point. Alright, yeah, that's that's fair, that's fair. And I can't really do it now during the stream, but yeah, that's, that's fair. The reason why, because I like the animation a lot, it's no joke. One of, one of my hints for being able to tell you. is you just look at the environment or the ground. You know, like, if you know what to look for in this specific shop, um, sometimes Brass slowing down for this can help, but, like, if you know what you're looking for, like, you shouldn't need to. Try to but, get like, yeah, one learn. of the things is just looking at the backgrounds, you know, like, instead of the actual characters, because the characters are generally what's going to be most focused on if this, if the shot, like, lasts, like, Two milliseconds or something, you know, like in a in an action sequence, and the action sequence is just really hard to animate in 3D. Sometimes they'll just get like a 2D shot. Like for instance, in the Dragon Ball Z movie, um, you know, Fighter Z, uh, sorry, um, Resurrection F, you know, the one with Frieza before they did um, Dragon Ball Super, which the movies led into. Um, they actually had a couple of scenes that were in 3D, for instance, and it's like. Um, they didn't use this tactic, of course, um, for some of the shots, they just didn't even pop. But, like, generally, which is the why the president just asked just me to make some changes. Because, like, it's so quick. Don't worry, that General. You'll, you'll still be in command of our military forces. That, that much I've decided. You like, decide. That's 3D. It's <laughs> only logical. I should get up. The specialists. 
but up to now, we've been a federal agency operating on a limited scale. This new threat, however, demands a radical new concept of no It's pretty fun to fuck out that as old things. Even with games, it could be either or. Yeah, the time has come to unite our five defense branches under a single chain of command. That's true. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Majestic, of course. You've got to be kidding me! This is like the it's the start shit. of a whole new era, General. So and the president would like you oh, to deliver the news. Like, Are you out of like, your mind? I should just have the music. You really think the joint chiefs will let Majestic swallow them whole without a fight? I think you better like, convince them to. And General, it's like that don't ever talk to me that way again. The mech is in the aliens. Yes, sir. And then, like, some people say, oh, do you think so, that huh, 2D is gonna die? I don't think 2D ever gonna die. Hmm, I, I 100% agree. I, I mean, if they're talking the about this on the to three, Why the hell not? then that's a bit of a different argument. I don't argument. think it makes any difference. But it's like, and it may it'll make never a go very out. big it's difference. A, it's a indeed. style, and it's a strong In any style, case, you know. We have what we like, came for. Return to your saucer like it, and you know, report back to the mothership. It's like, even though it is, like 3D is easier in most cases, it's not like 2D is outright. Crypto. The humans must not be as utterly like, moronic as you know, like it's, your it's not like you're working discovered. with. Yeah, it's not like I'm working with um, fucking. Um, I'm not working with. You're not working with. Um, you're not working with. Um, what, what are those, like. Uh, stop motion animation or something, which literally takes forever, or like a flip note or something. We have to edit. Oh. It's like if you're just doing, if you're doing something small, then it's like you can actually, you know, like a slice of life anime or something. There's a lot of shortcuts you can work, do, and like you can still make it look really good. Um, see them trying to make it as easy as possible and going to 3D more often. You know, because generally if something's hard you want to try and make it simple. You know, and, and especially when you short on time and you want to pump these things out weekly. So I do see like for instance fighting anime kind of going in that direction. But I wouldn't say that's everything. Like there's still room because it's not like that's the entire genre of anime, for instance. That's not even in type of yeah. cartoons. Like most cartoons don't aren't fight central. And as long as you're not fight central, but like you, you have your family guys that are like, you know, we have this one highly detailed fucking 2D fight scene. You know, every every like fifty episodes is that chicken fight where it's just like fucking ten minutes straight of fighting in two D. You know, so it's like it won't be completely gone to this style. There'll always be room for it. Even if it's just in your like sitcoms or whatever, there'll still be room for it. You know, because like comedy is not like you have to animate much. It's just like faces, some poses, you know, some movement of arms and legs. So it's, it's not like too crazy. You know, it's, it's all about I what you animate. I agree with you.